Hey, Jablinski! I heard you was looking for me. Well, if it ain't Jack Black! You're shorter than I thought you'd be. Yeah, well, you're fatter than I thought you'd be. Them's fighting words. Draw! <laughs> oh, I'll be your Huckleberry. Oh, you think you got what it takes? Show me what you got. Sorry, Jack. Hey, I thought we was brothers. The internet ain't big enough for the both of us. Health champ? Wash your hands, dude. In the age of corona, you got to keep them hands Crispy fresh. Get a little soap. Slather it on there nice and thick. Nice hot water. Now you can sing happy birthday to yourself twice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jables. Happy birthday to you. It's my birthday, by the way. I'm 50 years old. Health tip! Eat celery. Look at that. Every bite, there's like a, a burst of celery water juice. Takes a long time to eat, which is a plus, because you're eating, and you're eating for hours. You're eating this. It's not filling you up, but it's like, there's a certain kind of satisfaction. It's so much better than a Big Mac and fries. ASMR. This has been a great new edition of Jablinski Chef. <laughs> And we are back, was Jablin's Jables. Red Dead Redemption 2, part two. Let's do this. And we're back. Oh, look at the, the steam coming out of my mouth. It's so cold, you can see my breath. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. What you got here? You got some kind of rabbit chowder you're cooking? Let's talk to this dude. I don't really want to talk to him. I know he's gonna go off and talk for an hour. Here we go. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. I don't either. Come on, Arthur. Thanks, bro. Yeah, Please. let's go find something. Stop, stop listening to this jerk off talking about how we don't have enough stuff. We'll go get some stuff, okay? We're gonna do it. You go talk about it. Charles a badass with his bow and arrow, ready to go find some cans of corn out in the icy cold tundra. Let's do this then. He's got a wounded wing. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Sometimes it's better to use the weapon of the Native American. Silent but deadly. I just can't pull a bow right now. Eat a couple uh, crackers. That'll heal it right up. I sure could use a rabbit burger about now. Off your saddle. Hunt for deer. All right. So I think we might to stay low. Stay low. You can use eagle eye to highlight animal tracks and other clues. Activate. Oh yeah, I see it, baby. So I'm going to superpower crouch. Eagle eye. Eagle eye, baby. Focus on track. I wonder if this uses up, like, concentration juice. I see him. Quick and clean. You can pull back. Oh, God. Nice. Did I get him? get another one. Oh, God. Ice cold water. Is this really right, what I'm doing? Yes. Gotta traipse through the ice cold water. You want that sweet, sweet deer meat. How many burgers in one deer? Ooh, baby, come on, don't run. I see you. Now the question is, do I have a moral dilemma killing this deer? And the answer sadly is no, because uh, this is life or death. Now how do I call to him to make this a... Hey guy, over here, Taste it! Oh no, he ran! Ah, why did I yell? That was their advice. That was some dumbass advice. Yell out to the deer before you shoot it. Ah, wait. Oh, f they do. They ran. They booked it out of there. By the way, this time, I am not going to call out to them. I'm just going to. Oh, I, but the the opportunity for a clean kill is actually better because then. Okay, I just have to do it fast. Got it. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, now I feel really bad. 
because as I was shooting the third deer, my friend Charlie was saying, I think that's all we can carry. Shank! And I killed another one. For no reason. I can't even carry it. It's a dead carcass out in the wilderness. I know this is crazy. I'm thinking about starting over this chapter to see if I could not kill that last deer. Hold X to pick up the deer carcass. Whistle for your horse. What's up, bro? I gotta come up with a better name for your horsey. I'm gonna call you Chocolat. Cause you're brown and sweet. Dude, imagine how stoked. What happened? Did I die? Failed? Charles was abandoned? Oh, fuck like a ding dong, fuck a ding dong. I didn't go fast enough? Is that what you're telling me? Charles, come on. You couldn't deal with that? You needed me to handhold you all the way back to camp? Restart mission! Here's the Jablinski code. Kill only what you must to survive. Spare the rest. Good karma. Follow Charles, let's do this. And Charles, this time, if you don't mind, stick with me. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. I bought an impossible burger. I'm trying to get perfect karma. Side note. Uh, if you haven't tried the Impossible Burger, you probably should. That that is that 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 burger is the bomb. It tastes delish, just as good as meat, in my opinion. So uh, shout out to Joaquin Phoenix. I hear you, bro. Impossible Burger, whenever possible, unless absolutely necessary. I will not kill any living burgers, dude. For real, Impossible Burger is delish, and I'm not getting paid by Bill Gates or whoever is responsible for impossible. But I should, as a matter of fact, I might have to pull a dough brick. Yeah, uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yo, what's up, bro? How much if I give you a impossible burger shout out? Nothing? Okay, screw you. Uh, scratch that, y'all. Big Macs all the way. Oh, fuck! Get me the hell out of here, get out of here! Come on, Chocolat! Uh, I'm just kidding. I wasn't really talking to Bill, Bill Gates. Uh, truth is, McDonald's, if they know what's good for them, they will make an impossible Big Mac. Know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pull one more quick uh, Dobie Dobrik. Yo, Mickey D's, how much for a Big Mac shout out? Oh yeah, hey, suck on this. Stop here, son. Impossible dick. Sorry, F Accident. Dude, all I had to do was pull right trigger and all of a sudden I'm scaring away all the animals. I can't believe Charles is not mentioning the gunshot I just shot right past his head. As loud as A gun will scare everything around. I forgot what button to push to get a, a clean kill and give him warning, to give him fair warning. He heard that. Arrow whizzed by his ear. Got him bad at video games. Dude, if I have to go back to the beginning of this level again, I will shoot myself with a bow and arrow. I just wounded it. Oh, f better go put it out of its No, 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 no! Run, run! Run fast! Forget about silence now. Get up and run. Catch him. There he is. Sorry, guy. Sorry, guy. I'm gonna kill you real quick. Well done. What do you mean, well done, Charles? He was suffering! Okay. If I could turn back time, would I erase the suffering of this poor animal? Was it a perfect kill? No. Do I wish it was painless and quicker? Yes. Did I forget which button to fucking push to make sure he looked at me and we had eye to eye soul contact before I murdered him? No, I didn't do it right. But my heart was in the right place and I got to get this deer meat back to camp so that my fellow human beings can survive. I'm gonna cut myself some slack. Oh shit, I gotta get this guy. Remember last time, it took me too long. G get it, get him, get him. I can't believe I was lollygagging and talking so much. Okay, run, run back. Oh, wait, call the horse. Go. Meet up with Charles, you got it, babe. Where you at, Charles? I'm coming. Ready to head back when you are. Yes! Come on, man. Thank God. Dude, have you ever been so hungry you couldn't see straight well, and then someone hands you a delicious impossible burger? Friends for life. Now. Love. 
I don't know if you can tell, I'm uh, I'm on a I'm on a diet, and when I'm on a diet, I just think about food so much. I think about Impossible Burger. Cause look, celery is good, but it doesn't really fill the void. It doesn't really scratch the itch. It doesn't really feed the dragon. Dude, how stoked are my peeps gonna be when I bring this delicious yum yum to fresh deer? Go on, Arthur. Come on, get that knife working. I gotta cut it up? I brought it in! This is grisly work. I don't really want to... Oh, boy. Hold to skin the deer. Oh, good lord. This is not for the faint of heart. I gotta skin this animal. <laughs> oh. Dude, mission complete. I gotta say, I feel like this is a good place to stop. This has been another fantastic fantastic episode of Red Dead Redemption Part Deuce. Nice, that was it. I fucking hit myself in the Damn. So what happened was we were doing the shot where Jack Black gets shot and uh, I fell backwards and I threw my gun in the air. The gun went way up high. It must have been up there for like 20 seconds. I think I threw it like 100 feet in the air. I fell down on the ground and then boop, it hit me right in the kisser, right between the nose and the upper lip, right in the nutties. I think I might need stitches, but you know what? Show must go on. Catch you on a flip flop. See you next week.